The Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, is known for its groundbreaking research and innovation. MIT announced this week its nuclear fusion reactor set a world record for plasma pressure. Elsewhere on campus, researchers are trying to develop a meltdown-proof nuclear reactor. The research is part of a focus on clean energy. MIT President Raphael Reif wrote about the school's campaign. He said, quote, MIT's greatest invention may be itself an unusual concentration of unusual talent, restlessly reinventing itself on a mission to make a better world. We welcome Raphael Reif to Studio 57. Good morning to you. Good morning, Margaret. Thank a, you for having me. A meltdown-proof nuclear reactor only sounds like a good thing. <laughs> but do you see more willingness in this country to rely on nuclear power as clean energy? Um, I would say not right now. Uh, but I think that uh, as the innovations that are coming out of MIT and other places are more, uh, more understood and better understood, I can see that how that's going to change the perception of people and feel a little more comfortable with something like nuclear reactors. Talking about that, talking about what we're going to talk about with respect to Alzheimer's, reminds us that universities are research centers too. They are really a place where remarkable groundbreaking research is taking place, other than just teaching. Well, I would say, I would say yes, but I would add one more thing. So yes, there is plenty of teaching and there is plenty of research but there is plenty, and the research produces results that produces innovation that can lead to clean energy and so forth. But in addition to that, with the research and the teaching comes educated people who are the ones who move the ideas from academia to the marketplace, to our society, to make an impact. Well said. You also believe that we may find a cure, is that the right word, for Alzheimer's in your lifetime? From the work that I've seen by my colleagues, I am convinced that we'll see a treatment, if not a cure, for Alzheimer's during my lifetime, correct? And, and how will that, when will that happen? <laughs> when will that happen? First of all, uh, and let me just say this much, at MIT and places like MIT, you can actually see the future. You can really see the future. But it's not clear that that future will actually happen. So we need support from the system, from the system of research and innovation for that future that we can see in a place like MIT to go to the marketplace. So the fact that I see that we are closer and closer to have a cure for Alzheimer's or for, for have innovation for clean energy, that does not guarantee, does not mean that it will move to the marketplace. So are you also concerned about science funding mm -hmm. from the government? Correct. I think we have the best innovation ecosystem in the world. The whole world is trying to imitate us. But it has two big components. One is support from the federal government mm -hmm. for basic research. That's the mother of all innovation. That's the source of everything. And that is being eroded year by year for the last 10 years or so, even, even longer. That research produces lots of innovation. We need to make sure that that innovation moves to the marketplace to make an impact to society. Those are the two areas in which we have are to pay attention. Are you saying only government has the scale to do it? Only government has the scale to do that. There is no way that philanthropy, foundations, industry can actually do that, support that kind of research. And if we don't do that, we lose our innovative edge and we lose our leadership in science and in medicine. We will absolutely lose our leadership. We are on our way to losing our leadership if we are not careful. Right now, our economy, our innovation economy, our knowledge-based economy mm -hmm. is benefiting from federal funding research. It's also of 50 a competitive years position ago. in the world. Absolutely. Well, Thank you just you. won a Nobel Prize in economics, one of your professors. You had two MIT-linked men up for the Nobel Peace Prize as well. What does that kind of mm -hmm. recognition do to solve this deficit in funding? Well, we speak, uh, we have the podium and, 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 and the microphone to speak about these issues because we understand it. But we need people who are willing and open-minded to understand these points of view. Well, thank you very much, Rafael Reif. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you.